So I'm going to bring you another kind of uh, short introduction here into Shastra Vyas and Shastra Vidya. And this technique is once again just going on our same um, principles as we used before about offlining, but once again incorporating, incorporating vars and footwork. So much different than Gatka. And once again, he has a mask, so I can do that to him, right, and show you how effective this can be. So uh, what we're using today is the Taksali Tega and the Tal. And within Gatke Kara and a lot of uh, different um, Jatkas and Akaras, this is very popular. Many sings, many cores, many Yodas and Singhina, they own these. These are available in the religious stores as well. Uh, these are obviously from India, but you can get them regardless, right? So uh, I'm, we're going to do right handed versus right handed. I'm left handed, so I do have the upper hand on you guys who are right handed, but that's uh, irregardless, right? So these just give them a shake. Here. These are very real Shasta. Okay, so we begin in a very good stunning. We begin with Bhagwan Petra, right? So he takes his stance, there he goes, okay? Right, he holds his shield in front of him, in front of you, right? Sword up, okay, fantastic. And what he's going to do is he's just going to step in and then cut me down with a modabai. Bam, there you go, right? Very, very powerful. So he's just going to repeat that several times. This is how you practice, guys. This is how you do it safely. This is how you. you perform Shastra Vyas and how you perform Shastra Vidya. Now, the actual technique here and the actual rhythmic flow and pattern, I'm not going to uh, show, but I'm going to kind of give you a basis on, on what we do here. And, and they know that I'm not moving with muscular energy, I'm moving with mass, and that's what we teach here. So once again, he comes in for Modabak. Bam, yeah, just don't make it so over dramatic. You can just come in and strike him. Bam, right? All right, fantastic. So. How I get off this is I'm going to offline, right? So if I just stand here and he, he bars, I'm going to get it, right? Okay. The second option I have is as he bars, I get out, and now I have to cross back that distance, which is going to be hard because he's got all these guards up, and now he has two weapons instead of one. He has his thumb, right, and he has his stepan, right? The third option that I have, right, besides getting hit being the first option, right? is as he bars, is to Rokna with the shield. Uh, that's not gonna happen, that's not gonna work out very well. So in Shastra Vidya, one of the principles that we live by is fighting without being there, right? So and what we explain that as is misalignment. So what I use is a calculated forms and sets of angles compared to the angle of your strike to remove myself from danger and the edge alignment series. So when he goes to strike, Back. I attack it. You're going a little bit slow. I want you to go fast. There you go. Back. So you can see here, now on his best day, will he catch me? Right? I've completely moved out of the way. Right? So when he comes again for that strike, back. Here I am. Now you see where the second strike is angled at? Look at where it is. It's not in a pretty place. Right? And these are one of the traditional targets of Shasta Vidya. So I'm using my shield not so much as a bot. Go ahead. As a thing to strike or, or to broke now with, right? But when I use my shield, there you go. Go ahead, strike, careful. Bam, bam. And you see here where I catch him. Right? So I'm going to do this without contact. Now, how, explain to them, how is it with the mask when I'm hitting you? It, it, it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't hurt at all, <laughs> right? Okay? So he's absolutely fine. It's a very safe way for us to practice and remember the three traditional areas for target in Shasta Vidya. Eyes, throat, chedi. Okay? And we all know the special word that I have for chedi that I don't talk about. Okay, so anyways, right? So as he goes to strike, boom. I crash in. I get right through this angle, boom. Okay? And look at where my second strike is. So I've taken one step, and then all I will do is just two steps. And I will go right through. Okay, well, that. Good, one more time. Back right here, and look at where I am, right? So now if he tries to implement his shield, right? No, he's already too late, I'm already here, okay? If he starts to push back with this, on his shield on my hand, right? It's just gonna be a jewel of strength, but I'm already here. His only option is to drag the sword back and step back, and I'm following him with the point of my talvar, with my sinisa, right? In a opportunistic place. Right, so as I come here and I get into my, my, my danush, 
right, and my sum and the attacks back here, right? Very, very, very. Do you see this coming? No, no. Well, tell, tell them what you see when it happens. <laughs> you don't really see it. It's really fast. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm doing here is I'm messing with his ability to understand and perceive range, and that's one of the areas that Shastavidya specializes in, right? So. I hope you guys find this interesting. If you want to see and learn more, please feel free to reach out. We're teaching here in Brampton. We're trying to get as much exposure to traditional snap and chest of video as I can. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Bye, Uchika Kaisa. Bye, Uchiki. Bye,